Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL, and today I'm planting about eight sugar apple trees at my farm. Now these sugar apple plants are about one to two years old, and the special thing I like about these sugar apple plants is that I actually brought these seeds back from Colombia about two years ago, and I planted these all out when I got here. So there are about eight plants that I'm gonna be planting today. So let's get started. So currently we are in the beginning of November, and the sugar apples that I'm transplanting all today are about one and a half years old. As you see, some of them are larger than some other ones that I'm planting, just because of uh, me not transplanting them to a larger pot at certain times, and you know, some I treated better than others. But nonetheless, these will all grow for about two to three years, maybe even four years, uh, until the tree gets you know, significant size because something that I realized growing sugar apples this year for my first time is that you don't really want to fruit trees that are, um, you know, two, two years old or one years old, even though they can flower very young and even though they can support the fruit because uh, in the future it will stunt the growth and the sugar apple will most likely not grow any vegetative growth. So they might not even grow like big, um, and the tree needs to be big so it can support big fruits, healthier fruits, and just be healthier overall. So it's definitely recommended not to fruit your sugar apple, um, you know, until it gets to a big mature size, thick trunk, and uh, thick stems. Now, here's where I decided to plant the sugar apples. Now they are gonna be a little bit planted close together, but sugar apples are really easy to, to prune and keep, kind, and keep close. And I really can't wait for these because these were the ones I brought back from Colombia and it's gonna be fun to nurse them until they, they flower. And as you see right over there is where I have all my other sugar apples. So this is just gonna be a younger sugar apple row behind a more mature sugar apple row. So this will actually use as chop and drop material, kind of as a natural fertilizer for the sugar apples. So 
Every tree I chop down, I'm reusing right back into the farm. Everything here is organic. actually one of the last sugar apples that I'm gonna be planting today. Now, I actually have so many more sugar apples to plant here, but I really like how the, the road turned out. So let's finish up planting this one. I'll show you guys how it looks like. final outcome. As you see, there's one sugar apple tree. Then I have spaced them about seven feet apart, uh, six to seven feet apart. So As you see, there's another one. And these trees all actually let grow for about two to three years, maybe three years, honestly, before fruiting them. And this should grow fast next season, you know, as well as the next season. And, um, you know, I'll let these grow and I'll trim them as time goes on before we get fruit. But, yeah, I'm really happy that I planted another row in because, you know, you can kind of just watch these grow. And they're under the canopy, so they'll be pretty well off. Um, they're not getting dark sunlight, so eventually I'm going to trim back the canopy so more sunlight comes in on everything. And as you see, these are actually just located right behind my other sugar apple row so this is my other sugar apple row over here as you see the leaves are all starting to fall off because it's uh, December so the leaves are gonna start falling off and very shortly here as you see here's another sugar apple tree they're just very large this season some of them are growing back some of them have new growth coming all over them but others as you see are just losing their leaves ever so slowly this is actually a red custard apple so yeah guys thank you for watching this sugar apple video and i'll be posting more videos based on what you want to see and i hope you have a great day bye now